Black Sabbath released a song on their Master of Reality album called Solitude. Now I hadn't really clocked this song before, so thanks to one of my subscribers, R.D. Hudden, who suggested that I cover this track. This is a pretty mellow song for Black Sabbath, and it's perfect if you want an easy bass line to play through. The vibe of this song really reminds me of early Free or Jeffro Toll, especially with the flute that we've got in this song. And this is hardly surprising because Black Sabbath's guitarist Tony Iommi um, had a stint with Jeffro Toll. If you're familiar with Black Sabbath, then you probably know about Geezer Butler, the bass player's style. It's quite full on usually, um, but he's playing differently on this track. And this is a more simpler, repetitive bass line. You can download a free transcription that I've done of Geezer Butler's bass line on Solitude. This is in standard notation and tab, and you can pick that up by clicking the link below this video in the description. <laughs> First of all, I just want to chat briefly about Geezer Butler's style. In general, um, he cranked all the tone up on his bass. He played very heavily around the neck. Um, also, his tone was kind of bassy with a little bit of drive to it. He also used a P bass with flat wounds in his early days of Black Sabbath. But Geezer Butler's playing on Solitude is a lot softer. I found that if I roll the tone right back, um, then I get nearer to his sound. I still plucked over the, the neck, but a lot softer. Um, I'm using my P bass with flats. And what I've done is I've created two identical tracks. I put a little bit of drive on one of the tracks and the other track is dry. Um, I've cranked the bass on that. I've actually turned the mids down. Um, and I think I've got fairly near to Geezer Butler's tone on that. So if you wanted to get nearer to Geezer Butler's tone, then you could do some of those similar things. It doesn't really matter, you can kind of play it on any bass, um, but just play it softly with not loads of attack on it. You'll be pleased to know that Solitude only has two chords in the whole song, G minor and F, and it's in the key of G minor. Just having these two chords going round and round really adds to that lovely monotonous feel that Solitude has. This is the first four bars of the intro. Okay, so when we have the G minor bars, we always have this pattern. Okay, so we've got some hammer-ons. These are called grace notes before. We play the D, but we play a C before. Okay. So you pluck the C and hammer on the D, so quite far. Okay. Like that, okay. So you play G and then hammer on to D and then the same again. Okay. Now this is in 3-4 time. It's got that waltz feel to it. Boom, dun, dun, boom, dun, dun, boom, dun, dun, boom. So when you're playing this, emphasize the first beat of each bar to help with that kind of feel. Got that kind of lilt to it. Okay, so that's the G minor bar. Okay, when you're hammering on, I just use my little finger actually. Like that, you can use your third finger if you want on the D. Okay, so pluck the C. Your little finger okay so that's a G minor bar if you're enjoying this video then don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen and if you click the bell and select all you'll get notified as soon as I release a new video the pattern on the F bar changes we've got five different patterns this is the first one okay so that's one two and three okay one, two, and three. Okay, the next pattern. Okay, so F, D, C, D, F. Okay, um, again, I use my little finger here. I use first finger and little finger, but you can use third if you want. Like that, I play it like this. 
It's up to you, okay? So that's the second pattern. The third pattern, that's just root, fifth root, F, C, F. Fourth pattern, F, C, D. Okay, I'll use that open D there. Okay, F, C, D. And then the fifth pattern, F, D, F, okay? F, D, F. So we've got these five patterns on F and they happen in different places during the tune. If you want to keep it really simple, you could just use one pattern and that would still work. Like that, okay? Um, but remember, I've put it all on the transcription. You can see the different patterns there. In the intro, the chords just stay the same, G minor, F, G minor, F. When we get into the verse, we've still got G minor and F, but we play them with a different pattern. We play them with G minor, F, F, G minor, F, G minor, F. And it goes around like that, okay? So we've got two bars of F at one point, okay? Um, this is the first 16 bars or so of verse one. I'll just play it for you first. So you can hear those two bars of F in there. Um, if we just look at the first line, we've got that G minor bar always stays the same. And then we've got this pattern. And then we've got another pattern. Okay, D, back to G, okay? So that kind of D sounds good there because it's the fifth of G, so it wants to go to the G. Okay. And then this pattern. And then the next pattern. So you can see Geezer Butler just varies what bar of F he uses, okay? So he kind of mixes it up to make it more interesting. What we're going to do now is just play the first eight bars of verse one, play it slowly, and just try and play along with me or listen, okay? So get ready on G. And I'll do it after three, okay? I'll give you three countings. One, two, three. Okay, so work that through on the PDF. All the other verses and some of the other sections like the guitar solo and the flute solo follow this same kind of progression. Um, but when we have the guitar break after verse one, that's similar to the intro where it just um, changes between G minor and F and we don't have the two bars of F. This is the form of solitude. So we've got intro, verse one, guitar break, verse two, guitar solo, verse three, and then the flute solo, which is a sort of outro. So that's all you really need to know for this bass line. It's a really simple bass line. Remember, you can view it all on the free PDF. You can get that by clicking the link below in the description. This is a really great song to jam along with, and it's not too tricky, especially for Geezer Butler. Normally, his bass lines are much harder to play. So grab the PDF and just have some fun with this one. I'd love to hear what you thought of this video lesson and this bass line. Let me know by leaving a comment below. And if you felt you got value out of this lesson, you can always buy me a coffee. They're $5. The details are on the screen here, or you can click the link below in the description. And remember, you can really help me out by sharing and liking this video and also subscribing to my channel. If you're really keen to improve your bass playing and you want to get some more bass resources, then check out my website. That's gbshed.com. I've got bass courses over there, books, merch, some free stuff. I've got a free course on the homepage. So check that out. That's gbshed.com. This is Greg from Greg's Bass Shed. Hopefully see you very soon in the next lesson.